Well, Mike, essentially everything changed tonight and very soon signs like this reminding people to wear a mask will not matter. Masking requirements as well as quarantine protocols and contact tracing have been removed. But of course, this does not come without a heated debate between board members and parents on both sides of the argument. But the parents who have, I don't want to, like, put up with masking our kids, even though we don't believe in it for this long, we deserve rights too. I am absolutely horrified. I think this is just a very straightforward pandemic. It is aerosol. It is born through the air. There are various different layers of mitigation that we have, and wearing masks is one of the most basics. And one more board member, excuse me, taking her mask off, throwing it down on the table after that final amendment was voted on after hours of public comment and at times heated debate between parents and board members. Many on both sides of the argument citing health concerns for their child's health. Currently, 22 students and one staff member in the district are actively fighting a COVID-19 infection. The federal mask mandate for school transportation remains in effect. And tonight, a bus driver for the district telling me children shouldn't be forced to to wear masks and he agrees with the board's vote. I fully believe in that, that masks should be optional. Uh, it's freedom of choice uh, and the parents should have a say. Uh, I drive the bus, kids have masks on in the bus supposedly. Most of them pull it down to talk because they can't understand what everybody else is saying. And the board voting tonight to remove all of these protocols immediately for events that are happening outside of the school. And then they will eventually decide when to make it in effect for in school. They just have to make that decision by January 17th. And of course, if a student or a staff member does test positive for the virus, they will still have to follow regular CDC mandated quarantine measures. Reporting live tonight in Moon Township, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.